I was uh, 17 years old. I, I was uh, an avid mountain climber. And was, I was stranded on a mountain in the United States and suffered frostbite. And both of my legs were amputated. Okay. Uh, and I was given uh, conventional technology, which was passive, non-adaptive, uh, non-bionic. And I was deeply frustrated with the technology that was provided me. So I set out sort of in a life mission uh, to improve technology for persons with uh, limbs that don't behave normally. Okay. Well, I, I use uh, two prostheses. Both of my legs are, biological legs are amputated below the knee. So I, I, I stand supported entirely by synthetic structures. Um, those, so from the knee down, I'm, I'm a bunch of nuts, nuts and bolts. So as technology improves, the artificial part of my body gets better and better because I'm continually upgrading my hardware and software. But in time, my biological body degrades due to normal age-related degeneration. So as technology gets better and better, the artificial part gets better. So probably in a decade, I'll, I'll be able to walk with less energy than a person with biological limbs. And in two decades, my balance will be superior uh, to an 18-year-old with biological limbs. Yes, my prostheses have uh, uh, several microprocessor, several computers, um, many, many sensors of positions and forces. Uh, so it's adaptive and intelligent. and actually captures fundamentally how the human uh, muscles uh, are controlled by the spinal cord. Okay, this is how it works. Yes. Okay. Um, I, can, I can run with the bionic limbs as well. Um, they're, they're a lot of fun. Okay. Because they're motorized and powered and uh, they're propulsive. So it's, it's like uh, when you're at the airport and you hit the moving walkway and you just take off. That's what it's like when I put on my bionic limbs. And um, it doesn't frighten me. Uh, I, th I think the, that human machine progression, that evolution, is, is natural to our species. Um, we, in society, we already have many technologies that augment our abilities cognitively, emotionally, physically. Um, if you want to go from point A to point B with less energy and higher speed, it's called a bicycle. If you want to communicate, it's called a mobile phone. So we already have these augmentative technologies. As we march into the century, there'll just be more augmentation and more pronounced augmentation. Um, so I think it's, it's a natural progression of, of our society.